Live from the local station, the 10 o'clock news starts now. Just 17 years old and preparing to become a senior at Ed White High School, Alicia Poe was found dead inside a home on the west side. Poe was shot to death and police are investigating her murder tonight. The teenager was found inside a home in the Walker's Hamlet subdivision on Watershed Drive East, located off Beaver Street. And that is where News Project reporter Eric Abinier joins us live after speaking to neighbors, family and friends of the victim. So Eric, what are you finding out tonight? Well, about an hour ago, Jacksonville police wrapped up their initial investigation and as you can see, took down the crime scene tape. Uh, right now, family members that have come here, that have been here all this afternoon, have now gathered at that home where Poe was found dead earlier this afternoon. And many of those family members are asking, why did this happen? This normally quiet Walker's Hamlet subdivision was anything but quiet Friday afternoon when Jacksonville police were called here to investigate the shooting death of 17-year-old Alasia Poe. Police say they located her body inside her home on Watershed Drive. It's unclear what led to the shooting, but her death has left relatives and neighbors heartbroken. She had just recently um, got a job and she was going to be a senior in high school in August and she had so much to live for, you know, and I just feel like it was um, a needless death. Yeah, as a father, you know, it's, it, it's, it, it's like you really can't, you can't even speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Seeing, seeing kids grow up and stuff like that, it's just, you know, just, it, it's just heartbreaking. Heartbreaking because so many people watched her grow up. So I was there when she was born. When she became six weeks old, I was her babysitter. So I kept her for the first three years of her life. Um, so she was one of my babies. She never had a bad vibe about her. She always kept a smile on her face, you know, and, and, and went to school, went to work, and that was it. This is also shocking to many neighbors because they say it's rare to see police called here. Have you ever seen anything like this? No. No, not 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 even in no type of crime out here. According to this JSO crime map, within the past four weeks inside this subdivision, there has only been one report of an assault, and that was considered domestic. During the same time frame, within a half mile radius of the subdivision, there has only been one assault and one report of a theft. Now, family members tell me they have been in contact with the lead detective, and they tell me that the lead detective told them that there is a suspect in custody. Uh, that suspect has yet to be charged, but they say that uh, they were told that uh, if charges are filed, it would be for murder. Of course, we are working behind the scenes to confirm that information. Reporting live on the West Side, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.